You guys, I am so excited. I finally got my ball complete book of home preserving um, cook recipe book and I am super excited. It took about a month for this to get here and it actually wasn't even supposed to show up until sometime in October. So I'm very excited that it came. I'm excited to get into this book and see what I can can. Preferably starting with the tomatoes that are in the freezer and hopefully making up some sort of spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce. Um, but I am in the garden today. Over the last couple of days, I have been going through checking my tomatoes because the tomato hornworm has been devouring my tomatoes. And I just didn't get a really good yield of tomatoes this year. So, so, so far I've caught eight of those hornworms and it's not even catching them, it's like finding them. I found eight of them. The chickens loved them. Uh, I'm gonna go through and see if there are any more on there. And then something else is eating my peppers. And I have no idea what it is exactly. The leaves on this have pretty much been devoured. And then I have an idea of, I don't know what it is actually, but I don't know if you can see, there is all kinds of like poop in there and then poop over there. There's some poop right here, whole bunch of poop right here. So I suspect whatever is leaving those poops is what is eating my peppers. And then I am going to go ahead and harvest these so that I can get these in the freezer as well for when I have enough stuff to make that pasta sauce. Look at that beauty. Nice big butternut squash. I am also going to be canning some butternut squash as well at some point. And then this to, uh, pumpkin right here, I'm gonna let that go a little bit longer until the stem starts to dry out. And my beautiful habaneros. I'm gonna pick those. I've got quite a few more on here, which is cool. Oh! So tomato worms eat peppers too. I bet you that is what decimated that pepper because on my other pepper plant over here, they are so weird looking. I'm gonna get a cup and put it in there for the chickens, oh God. I'm gonna see if I can find any more in the tomatoes <sighs> or on my peppers. I'm gonna look at all my peppers and the tomatoes to see if I can find any more of those tomato horn worms or just horned worms. Poop all over this stuff. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Right there on my jalapenos. So that one's got to go. Oh, they hold on so tight. So I found another one, I have three, and they are definitely not the easiest things to spot. Once you see it, you see it, but seeing it first is tough. Um, one way that you can sort of tell is this plant right here has been eaten by the tomato or the hornworm. Um, it's just eaten all the leaves and it just kind of moves its way along. So like I said, I found three more I guarantee you there's probably at least 10 more hidden in here, um, but I'm just not going to find them all right now. So 
I'm just gonna continue on with what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna see if there's any more butternut squash for me to harvest. And then um, I need to get some more things planted out here. So, and I think I need to get rid of some of these tomatoes. This is kind of funny though. So this pumpkin and this pumpkin have like migrated up all my tomatoes. So uh, I'm just gonna leave those and whatever happens to the tomatoes is fine because they are not really producing much anymore. So I'm just going to let the pumpkins kind of do their thing. Um, but I am going to eventually remove some of these other tomatoes and I will just keep diligently looking in here for more worms that are eating my tomatoes. Also, my um, cantaloupes have basically died back, so those need to go. I need to order my uh, garlic seeds and probably some more onion seeds because I think I'm gonna plant those where the melons were growing, but this is what they look like right now. Just pretty much crispy and toast. I think once they produced the three fruit that I did get off of these, they said, I'm done. So I'm gonna be removing this as well. And then I'm gonna turn off all these waterers because without the plants in here, there's just no need for the waters to be on. So I'm gonna make sure I turn those off. And I have a bunch of strawberry runners that I think I'm gonna um, transplant. And the thing about runners is that, like this one has pretty much planted itself in the ground. So it's detached now from the mother plant and it is now rooted right here. And I don't think I necessarily want a strawberry plant growing right there, but I'll leave it for now because there's nothing in here. And we'll just kind of see what happens. Like this strawberry plant right here has also made itself a nice little happy home as well. All right, so I am heading next door to my friend's house. She, um, she's actually a really amazing potist. And so I'm just gonna go over there and hang out with her. I will show you some of the, um, the cool things that she does. I gotta kick up my gear here on the bike. Um, and maybe show you um, along the way of us. I think I'm gonna glaze some pieces I help her glaze some things for a show she's doing uh, and i will if you guys are interested in seeing more pottery things just let me know um, but yeah i'm gonna head over to my friends and check out some pottery i'm a little nervous hopefully there's no snakies Well, hello. There. Yay. Yay. Are these all for like special orders? Um, the ones you'll be painting are not. No, these are for me. This is a special order for my friend John. They're the same. I just decided mm -hmm. why not make two. Yeah. If you're going to make one set, make two sets. Yeah. Um, so what is yeah. this? This is like a little cough, so coffee. So coffee set. You put I know your what beans. this is. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's your and pour then... over. That's your beans. I'm missing Sugar, that somebody lost the cup to my pour over. Aww. I'm really annoyed. Pop. And you can make another one. Yeah, Stupid that's what you're question. gonna be working on. So those no, are gonna be candles. Those but are gonna be candles. These and then, are gonna be candles. No, these are. Oh. So what the idea is, there's gonna be a candle. And then at the top of the candle will be the birthstone that kind of associates the most with that month. Uh -huh. So obviously Leo's, I think of August. So I'd go Peridot. And 
when they the idea will be that when they burn the candle down they end get up a surprise. they get a surprise and then they have like cuz <laughs> i burn a lot of candles and i don't know what to do with the i the I'm dish. like is it glass jar? so yeah you could put like little so this is rings. it has yeah. like a function afterwards so that's kind of but i have to make cool. those tomorrow and then pour it pour the yeah, candles the so i'm going to put you here this will take Three to four layers total. We're just only on the top. Like the rim? Yep. Is See it? how the rim is done? So start and then stick them over here like that. One, 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 one. Kind of move that way. Uh -huh. Then if you do it, go back that way. So we'll know one, So just one, do one layer and then two, one layer. three. Okay. Like I'll know where we're at. So just around the rim and then move them over. And then you'll do the whole thing again going back. Put them back over that way. Okay. And I should scrape the extras off or no? Only if you want to. Yeah. You can't really like do it wrong. I'm nervous. You can't really do it wrong at all. Only if you painted the whole thing. That would be the only thing you could go or I'd go, well that's not what I fucking that's told you to do. So that's it. If you like the pottery content, let, let me know because I can definitely do more of that kind of stuff. Um and yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.